All right. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, as always, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rachaha, Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of yahweh bahasham yahweh shai and i wanted to do a response video to a video that was done by the beloved brother manak tzak um from uh, the new york camp um his channel right here is jacob barak 2 as you see right here and he did a response video um to the brother Karak Zakba from the uh, Baltimore camp in which the uh, beloved brother uh, Karak Zakba from Baltimore did a response video to a video that was done by the beloved brother um, Elder Hawad from North Carolina. And in that video, you see this, um, this, this cone juggling clown named Hassad who's basically going around, you know, harassing brothers like Vocab Malone, going up, asking questions. And, you know, the thing is, is that there are guys who are set up to basically be a hindrance to, to the truth, but cannot do it. Because this truth is like living water, okay? No matter how many dams you try to build, no matter how, no matter how many pits you try to build, no matter how many walls you try to set up, there's so much water gushing from the Holy Scriptures that the dam will be broken your pits will be completely overflown and your walls will crumble and will be carried away with the river. OK. And, and um, there's nothing that you agents or you spies out there can do to 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 stop this truth. OK. So, um. Let me go ahead and open up my Bible app here and then um, I'm going to come over here and do this. Let's go to Google. OK. And, you know, for those that don't know what a spy or agent is, you know, I know what the definition is. But for the edification of the Lord's sheep of the hopeful elect out there. Let me see. I'll just go ahead and type in what a spy is for y'all. OK, so we're going to do spy definition. OK, show you okay. what is a spy. So this is the definition of a spy from Google.com, a person who secretly collects and reports information on the activities, movements and plans of an enemy or competitor. OK, <laughs> and, and that's what a spy does, you know. You know, a, a, a spy will come up to a camp, you know, he might stand there, he might listen for a couple of minutes, but deep inside his mind, he has ulterior motives. He's not there to sincerely be fed with the word, to be, to, to receive salvation. He's not up there to, 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 to sincerely learn in order to come into the fold and, and and help build the house of David, he's really just there to cause trouble, you know, ask questions, right unto contention. He's there to break up crowds and discourage people and Oh, ultimately scattered the Lord's sheep. 
Because what did Yahweh say? He that gathereth not with him scattereth abroad. And that's what spies and agents are set up to do. They're really set up to scatter the Lord's sheep. But no matter how hard they try, inevitably, the Lord's elect will be awakened. They will be fed and edified with the word. They're going to repent. They're going to come into the truth. Hell's going to break loose. And all you spy, spies and agents out there, you're going to realize how much of fools you are when, when Esau Edom turns on you. Because like it tells you in uh, Sirach 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. You know? Never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. You know? Though he go humbling himself and go crouching, yet beware of him. Because right now, you know, the, the you know Esau's giving all you agents and spies out here the opportunities, you know, to go do this, do that, and you know, he you know, he might pay you in. But ultimately, man, this devil don't give a fuck about any of you spies or agents out there. Because at the end of the day, he's gonna use you like the pawns you are, and then when he don't need you no more, he's gonna dispose of you. He's going to toss your ass right off the chessboard and he's going to move on to the next useful piece on the chessboard. Because Esau's goal really is to stop the Hebrew Israelites from bringing out the word of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Shai, because they see that a great awakening is happening. They see that the Lord's elect is waking up all around the world and they, they need a, a, a foolish pawn to go out there and to come up to camp and you know, disrupt lessons and all that, you know, j just to, to stop this word. But there's nothing you can do to stop this word. OK, and here's why. There's nothing Esau can do. There's nothing any of you spies out there can do to, to, to stop this word. OK, the elect is going to be awakened. They're going to they're going to receive this word. And ultimately, they're going to repent. And once all of the elect is sealed, the Lord is going to command his angels on the four corners of the earth to let the destruction loose. And that, that's the ass of all you agents and all you spies who decided to side with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's going to be your ass, okay? Okay, so we're, look, hey, we're, let's go to the book of Romans, Okay. Okay, uh, uh, Romans 8, verse 31. What shall we say then to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who could be against us? You see, hey, look, we're coming back to our our, our precious, uh, we're, we're coming back to our precious power, our precious God, Yahweh. Well, we're, we're coming back to our precious Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And there ain't shit you spies or agents could do about it. Now, am I saying that we're of the elect? No. But we're, we hope to be of the elect. OK, because we, we don't want to be in this fucking kingdom another second, man. OK, we don't want to be in this kingdom. You know. Because oh, why wow, Micah 2 and 10, this is not our rest. OK. OK, uh, uh, verse 32, he, he that spared not his own son, but deliver him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Right. We, we've been given all things. You know, especially concerning the truth. You know. Like Yahweh Shai said, freely you have received, freely give. Okay, who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is Yahweh that justifieth. <laughs> okay, 
So no matter how many times you, you spies or you agents come up there and, you know, you start asking all these unnecessary questions to, to contention. Look, we have a right to say, look, we ain't got to give you any answers. You know, we ain't got to tell you shit. Because no matter what answer we give you, you're just going to go contrary to, to, to the answers that we're giving you. Why? Because you're, like Apostle Gabar said, you're, you're just not of the elect, man. Okay? What did Yahweh say concerning his sheep? He said, my sheep hear my voice. Okay? And, and, and he is known of them. And a stranger will they not follow. So the Lord sheep, they... They hear the voice of Yahweh So you can better understand this says work for a, a, a spy of somebody who works for a government or other organization. And, and that's what an agent a agent also operates in this much similar fashion. OK, a, 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 a agent works for a government or or other organization by secretly collecting information about enemies or competitors. And ultimately, we, we, we are enemies in the eyes of these spies and agents because we're speaking against them because really these spies and agents, they're for America. They're for Babylon the Great. So, so we're, we're, we're really enemies, not just to Esau, Edom, but to these spies and agents. We're really enemies to them. Okay. And that's that's why, you know, they keep coming up to camp. You know. They keep asking us these stupid questions. <laughs> you know. Because really, they are our enemies and well we know what the scriptures say about our enemies you know anybody who is an enemy to the lord's elect are the lord's enemies and let me tell you something you don't want to be yahweh bahashem yahweh shah's enemies because the lord will literally fold your ass up the lord will fold your ass up like like like, like a lawnmower chair on the beach okay And ultimately, he'll fucking stump your ass out. And that's just what it's going to be, man. Anybody who's coming up against the, the man of the Lord, whom the Lord have set up. OK, you're, you're, you're pretty much marking yourself for judgment. OK. Okay, point blank, period. And really, a lot of you guys who are spies and agents who are coming up to these different, you know, great millstone camps or even these different camps amongst these false Israelite groups. The reason why you're doing it is because you don't believe that America is going to go down. You don't believe there's going to be a economy collapse, a financial collapse. You don't believe that Esau is going to systematically issue in a famine. You don't believe that this country is going to be invaded one day by foreign troops and ultimately be destroyed in nuclear fire. You don't believe in those things. And a matter of fact, these are the same motherfuckers, these, these agents and spies coming up to the camp. These are the same motherfuckers who when 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 we was in the wilderness 
after coming out, out of the land of Egypt, these are the same motherfuckers who wanted to go back into Egypt because, it, it, you know, they, they, they used to give us steak and lamb potatoes and mac and cheese and, 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 and the collard greens. And, and you know, and, well, here we are in the wilderness. And, you know, the Lord brought us out here to, 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 to starve. And, and you, you, you know, my, my stomach hurt. I could do something. Yo, Moses, whoa, 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 what's going on, bro? We, we, we got kids over here. You know, the bald head nigga, red eyes, big lips, you know, red eyes, got tears coming out of his eyes, crying like a little bitch. So, he, you know what the most I did? He, he told Moses, yo, take these niggas around in one big fucking circle and the wilderness till these motherfuckers die off. Okay, these motherfuckers ain't ain't by that. They're not gonna they're not gonna see that land. <laughs> okay, okay, you, you niggas were a bunch of crybabies in the wilderness. Oh man, it's hot out here. Hey, you got a rag or something, bro? Like then the niggas saying bro, niggas saying saying bro with 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 a W instead of a R. Hey, yo, can, can we just go back into the land of Egypt, bro? Man, man, at least there, you know, they, 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 they gave us Kool-Aid and orange juice and yeah, you know, they, they, they gave us mac and cheese and passion fruit. You know, <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I know Moses was a humble person, but I even even he had, had to you know been looking at these niggas like <laughs> like, bruh. Like these, these, these niggas are too much. You talking about steak and potatoes? Look, you ain't got faith. The Lord's gonna feed you. Look, he made manna rain from the sky. What, what, what more do you need? <laughs> you know, Moses got in trouble because of you niggas. We in the wilderness and you got niggas talking about I want to kill my mom. I want to kill my dad. I want to go back to Egypt. Nigga over here crying over some, some damn GMO steak and potato. The fuck your, your damn GMO steak and potatoes, nigga? Look, the, the Lord is trying to bring us into the promised land. And you got niggas trying to be a hindrance. So you know what's going to happen? The Lord's going to get rid of you niggas, just like he did in the wilderness back when we came out of ancient Egypt. But the Lord's got a little something for you. Why, why do you think that the Lord is wiring Esau to create all these Terminator robots and, and, and all these newly created creatures and, and, and all these ex experimental diseases and shit? Because the Lord's going to use Esau to, to get rid of you, you niggas, you, you, you little roaches walking around trying to feed on the crumbs and shit. And then when the lights come on, you want to scurry and run off into the little cracks and, and holes in the wall. Well, guess what? The Lord's got a little something for you. OK, the, the exterminator, which is your house shot, is about to come with the raid. Oh, well, which is Esau Edom. <laughs> okay. Now let's type in what an agent is. No oh, man. Here we go. Yeah, I'm I'm I'ma just do this, man. Okay. No matter how hard you guys try. These are the same niggas who want to go back into Egypt over steak and potatoes. Nigga, are you serious, man? And that's all Jake want to do is, is just, you know, pop his woman, eat food, sleep and go to work. Nigga, there's more to life in, in, than, just, than just that. Look, we're getting ready to enter into a whole new different glory. Do you want to stay here or, or over some steak, potatoes, and pussy? Bro, you niggas are through out here. This is Agent from Google.com. 
Okay, it says a person who acts on behalf of another person or group sounds like a spy, right? Agents and spies operate in much similar uh, 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 fashions. Okay, a person or thing that takes an active role or produces a specified effect. Okay. So that's what an agent is. Now let's come up here. I don't give a damn about no Olympics. I don't even watch the Olympics. I don't even watch sports. Anyways, let me see. Let's see. There was another precept I wanted to get. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's see. But foolish and unlearned questions questions avoid and I'm pretty sure it's just going to give you the rest so yeah let's go here right 2 Timothy 2 and 23 let's get it okay so this is the book of 2 Timothy 2, verse 23, right? It says, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strifes, you know? And that's why the spirit is just getting on brothers now, especially amongst these great millstone camps to just give you the hand. Because it's not like you niggas are going to get it anyway, because, well, well what, what did King David say? That which should have been for their welfare, let it become a snare and a trap. You know, let let their eyes be darkened, okay, and their ears make their ears heavy. Did not Isaiah say that? Let's get that real quick. You know, cause see, you you a lot of you spies and agents don't know this, but you're really going up to to the camps to 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 have yourself marked and condemned. Because even as you're going up to these camps and you're asking all these foolish questions unto strife and contention, okay, the Lord currently has a death angel hovering right over you. Death angels, evil angels, waiting for the okay. Wait, j -j just, just waiting for the okay. You're going to go out there and question one of them brothers one day and the Lord going to set your ass up to get ran over by a garbage truck. And then your ass is going to wake up in a hospital like, huh? what the? I I'm not in the spirit world. Nah, nigga. Nah. Nah. Your ass is going to wake up in a hospital in a fucking casket. Wrapped up in bandages, all bloodied and shit. Because, hey, let me tell you something. There's things worse than life. I mean, there there's things in life worse than death. Death is the easy way out, but hey, most I can, most I can, can put you in serious, fucked up conditions. And that's what you, you agents and you spies don't seem to understand. Okay. Just look at the people who came up against Moses in the book of Numbers. Let's, uh, let's get that real quick. Cause hey, there were people who came up against Moses in the wilderness and don't you know the Lord opened up a sin, uh, opened up a sinkhole on those niggas and their family? Uh, I wonder if I'll be able to find it though. I'm not really sure how it's worded. Um, let's see. And the men that. They came up. See, there's a reason why the scriptures say everything that was written in four time was written for our learning. The men that came up against Moses. Fell into the earth because Moses represented the elect of his time, you see? 
So you, hey, hey, you, 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 you should be real careful when you go up to camps because you, you don't know who those men are. You could be coming up against one of the lords, or, or hey, that whole everybody in, in those camps could be up there. Like we don't know, but you could be coming up against some of the lords' elect men, and, and the Lord could judge you right, 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 right as soon as you leave camp. You, you, know, like, you, you think you don't prove the point of shit, okay? <laughs> and then you go home and your house explodes and, and shit on you and, and fuck you up. You know, hey, the, there's many ways the Lord can get you, man. OK. So let's see numbers. I know it's in numbers. OK. What's going on here? Number 16, verse 20 to 35, then I'll just come over here and get this. You know, Satan is at work. Let's see, Numbers chapter 16. And we'll we'll just um, start at 20 here. See, everything that was written a four time was written for our learning. OK, so, hey, this is going into the account where you had particular men amongst the nation of Israel that was murmuring against Moses. You know, they thought they was the man. They thought they should be the leader. They thought they should be the one leading Israel. But what these men are going to find out is that the Lord deals with order. OK, whoever the Lord chooses, just like how how we have. Um, just like how, how we have our leaders today, you know, starting with Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Ariamlab and Apostle Rakha. OK, well, well, uh, the, the, the leader, you know, during the time of Moses was Moses. Mo Moses and Aaron were the leaders. And then after them, the Lord has set up some new leaders, Joshua and Caleb. The Lord have always dealt with order. OK, whoever the Lord chooses or set up to be leaders, that's who's going to lead Israel. OK, so hey, hey, we we have our leaders. We have our elders and we have our our apostles and our prophets whom the Lord have set up to teach, you know, Israel, even though in the rather if they hear or forbear, like it tells you in Ezekiel, the third chapter. OK. But the main purpose is really to fish for the elect. OK. But once again, you know, you got guys coming up against the order which the Lord set up. And you see, back then you had men who came up against the order which the Lord set up and the Lord made a perfect example out of them. Because not only were those men judged, their families and their wives were judged. And that's another thing you cats don't seem to understand. The Heavenly Father can also bring judgment upon you and your children and your wife. So, you know, be careful who the fuck you come up against, man. OK, number 16, verse 20. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, separate yourselves among this congregation that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, oh, Yahweh, Yahweh. The, the, the power of spirits of all flesh. OK, <laughs> that proves that Yahweh is the father of spirits. OK. OK, shall one man sin and wilt thou be wrath with all the congregation? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, speak unto the congregation, saying, get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, the Don and Abiram. And Moses rose up and went unto Dedan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. 
So you should know that these men were considered wicked for coming up against Moses. So if you over here coming up against the men whom the Lord have set up to teach and to prophesy out on the highways and hedges, that makes you wicked. So they got them up from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram on every side. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents and their wives and their sons and their little children. Okay. So this was Korah, Dathan, and Abiram who, who was about to be judged. Okay. So you already know, hey, when, when Israel got up and departed from those men, they was looking at those niggas like, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, because the Lord, the Lord was about to do a number on these niggas, okay? And Moses said, hereby ye shall know that Yahweh have sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, right? The common death, meaning they, they die of old age, right? If they die of old age, if they die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then Yahweh have not sent me. But if Yahweh, okay, make a new thing in the earth and open her mouth, right? And believe it or not, but the very first sinkhole happened here. You know, you got everybody who like to talk about sinkholes and how, how the earth opened up un, uh, underneath people and, and people fell inside the earth. Well, guess what? This was the very first sinkhole ever created. The, the, the Lord opened up the earth underneath these niggas and they fell inside. Just, just like turds falling into a toilet. It says, but if the Lord make a new thing in the earth and open her mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain to them, which includes their family, right? And they go down quick into the pit, because that's what a sinkhole is, right? A sinkhole is basically a a, a, a sinkhole is basically when 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 the ground above falls into the pit of the earth, which a pit is just a large gap or a hole inside the earth, right? Then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And that's what you're doing when you come up against the men whom the Lord have set up. OK, when you're just going up there asking questions just, 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 just for contention and strife, but you're not really being sincere or any of those things. You know, you're really provoking Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And it came to pass as he had made an end, as Moses had made an end of speaking all these words that the ground clave asunder that was under them and the earth opened their mouth and swallowed them up and their houses and, and, and all the men that appertained unto Korah and all their goods. Okay. <laughs> and then they, they and all that appertained unto them went down alive into the pit and the earth closed upon them and they perished from among the congregation. You see that? So judgment is coming to anybody who come up against the men whom the Lord has set up to teach. Point blank period, man. And the Lord, the Lord is not a respecter of persons. Okay. Okay. Uh, like it tells you in Colossians 3 and 25, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which ye have done. And there is no respect to persons. Point blank period, man. You know, so there, there's a reason why brothers are just, you know, giving you you agents and you spies out there to hand. Because you're really not going up there, you know, to be edified. You're not going up there in sincerity. You're really just going up there to be a demon, man, to 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 uh, d disrupt lessons. And you're going to be judged for that if you don't repent. No, I don't know if vocab Malone is a Jake or not. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, you, you got brothers who, who hope that vocab Malone is an Edomite, you know.
Because, you know, this, this dude is a straight up fucking demon, okay? But, um... Uh, let me see. Uh, there's, let me see. But, but all you Israelites out there who's working on the behalf of Esau just to disrupt lessons and all that shit, man. You're going to be judged for disrupting lessons. Okay. See, Bible... And let's type in um, answer not a fool according to his folly. So you can get the uh, understanding of this. Let me see. Okay. KJV. And so not a fool according to his folly. So that's Proverbs 26, verse 4. So let's get that in this Bible app here. So this is what we're going to do here. You see, they said it's Proverbs 26 and 4, right? You see. Okay, Proverbs 26 and 4. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou be like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. Because you, you got guys who come up to the camp, you know. They really don't mean any offense, you know, because there is a, a such thing as being sincerely wrong. But you got guys who just come up to the camp, they know better, you know. They've been listening to the breakdowns and the different lessons their brothers are going into. And they're just coming up to camp just to question, scoff and be demons. So guess what? Motherfuckers like you don't deserve to be answered. Because you already know the answer, but you just pretending like you don't know the answer. You know, just, 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 just so you can stir up, you know, confusion, contention. You know, so so guess what? You know, we're living in a time where we're just going to start giving you motherfuckers the hand. We're going to just start giving you the hand. Look, look, bye. You know? Hey, look, look, you already know the answer. Why are you acting stupid for? So, hey, hey, Hassad, you know, vocab, all, all you guys out there, man, you know, you're going to get the hand. We're going to tell your ass, look, go down the road. Because if you notice, these guys always show up where there's groups of people listening who could possibly be of the elect. And the reason why they're showing up there is really to, to disrupt the lesson and, and, and to uh, attempt to convince those people that, you know, you know, no, 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 no. We, we are the false prophets and blah, blah. Uh, no, no. We have the 100% truth. How the fuck are we the false prophets? Who, who else is telling you that the RFID chip is the MOTB? Who else is telling you that, that America is Babylon? Who else is giving you everybody's nationality according to the scriptures? Who else is telling you that, that, that you know, you're not supposed to eat pork? Or, or, or eat unclean foods. You're not supposed to do those things. You're not supposed to commit adultery. Who else is telling you to repent? Who else is giving you the true name of the heavenly father, Yahweh, and the true name of his son, Yahawashai? The true prophets of the Lord are. Now, we're called into this thing, but we're hoping to be chosen. Okay? Especially to get the fuck away from you, you rats, you roaches, you, you rodents. Well, because, hey, man, we're getting tired of hearing from you motherfuckers, okay? you coming up asking the same goddamn questions, you know? Especially questions that we don't answer going back, what, 10 years ago, 12 years ago? you still coming up asking the same goddamn questions like we've never been asked those questions before.
And you know what? Those wicked scribes and Pharisees, they came in that same spirit. You know, questioning you how shy about the resurrection and, and you know, <laughs> You know, asking you how much to, you know, show him a, show him a sign. It's the same shit today, man. And, and we're here to give you the exact same answer. There shall no sign be given, but the sign of Jonas, the prophet, because. Who, what, what, what was Jonas, the prophet set up for to prophesy against Nineveh? To, to let the, the Ninevehs know which you had Israelites living amongst the uh, amongst Nineveh because the Lord said that he would scatter us amongst the different nations. So though those Ninevehs, not all of them were, were heathens, like you got some idiots saying that, you know, you know, that they were heathens and blah, blah, blah. No, you had Israelites living amongst the Ninevehs. But anyways, OK, uh, uh, answer not a fool according to his folly. Let's not be like unto him, you know, and that's why the spirit is getting on brothers to, 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 to tell you to kick rocks, man. You know, take hey, look, just 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 go down the street because this truth is not for you. This truth is only for the elect. OK, we don't go out on the highways and hedges to to fish for you know, squids and, and, and stingrays and, and, you know, electric eels. And uh, no, we're fishing for the elect, the fishes with the fins and scales. So, I mean, with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.